for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> so, Aquarius, yeah, coming up for you where it says pass. You see, we got the page of wands, and below this page of wands is the card nine of wands. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that coming up for 2021, which is just right around the corner, there is someone in your circle. Maybe it's the person that you're dealing with, but I'm, I'm getting that it's, it's someone from your past or someone that you, you've known f f for a while. Maybe just for 2019. Well, 2020, you've known this person. It looks like you're ready to close yourself off from them. With the Nine of Wands showing up. The Nine of Wands is a card below the word pass. Yeah, coming up in 2021, you're ready to be done with this person. But it looks like they're not ready to let you go. So, yeah. In 2021, they'll, they'll be trying to cling on to you. They are just not ready for this connection to end. And I'm getting, for most of you, it's someone that you've been dealing with already. And this person, they have a lot of passion for you. Because the Page of Wands, the card above the word pass, can be about a lot of passion. This person's excited about you. Aquarius and for some of you this person is younger than you because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot that could indicate a student youth immaturity or someone younger than you yeah yeah coming up in 2021 you're ready to be done with this person you're not as excited about them as they are about you <laughs> But uh, Aquarius, they're still going to be trying to hang on to you coming up for the new year. So just be prepared for that. And, and I'm looking at this nine of wands, the card below the word pass. You're really trying to close yourself off from this person for the new year. Because when you get the nine of wands... It's all about not letting a person or people pass your barricade. Because if you look at the card, the Nine of Wands, the card below the word pass, this man, he's caged himself in with all of these wands, and he's ready to battle someone or anyone that comes towards him. Yeah. Just, it's like, just don't come past my barricade just don't do it you'll go to war with this person so you're ready to be done with this person but like I said they're not they're not through with you they want to go into to the new years with you yeah whomever this page of wands is maybe it's a family member but for a lot of you it's someone that's got a lot of passion for you so let's move on over let's take a look and see how the rest of the new year is gonna look for you we got the queen of swords ends with the two of wands <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry i have a bad cold okay so coming up um, what else I was getting for you? Queen of Swords with the Two of Wands. So for the new year, you could find yourself having to be very forceful and very honest in a lot of situations just to get your needs met. That's how the Queen of Swords can be a very forceful type of energy. So you might have to pull out your darker or forceful side throughout the year 
coming up, you know, um, especially with this person that's trying to, um, trying to still be with you. Yeah, you might just have to realize that you got to put your foot down and be forceful with this person because <clears throat> it's showing that you're pretty much over it. And then the card that's below the word present, that's the two of wands. It's showing that you could have a couple of other options going on. You could be <clears throat> having two paths towards the future or towards the new year. That doesn't include this person. Yeah. Because the Two of Wands can be about having a couple of options. Now, there's something or someone that really sparks your attention that's, that you already know about. Or maybe it's someone new that's coming towards you for the new year. Because if you look at the Two of Wands... Yeah, it's a card below the word present. He has, he's sitting down. He's got a wand on both, one on one, one on the right side and one on the left side. His hand is tied to one wand and his back is to it. So this could be that page of wands that you got your back to. Or it's something else that you're kind of interested, interested in, but not really. And then your ankle is tied to the other one. Your body language is facing the other one. Or your body is facing the other one. And you're looking directly into the eyes of that one. So there's something new or someone that you're really excited about coming up for the new year. Yeah, something or someone is going to really spark your attention and get you really excited coming up for 2021. Yeah, there's two paths towards the future. But the thing is that, yeah, there could be something that you need to cut out, though. And I keep thinking it's this page of wands. Yeah, this person is still going to be holding on to you coming up for the new year. So, you've got options though. They probably know this. Yep, yeah. and you're trying to close yourself off. But let's see what the challenge is. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, and it's with the Ace of Wands. Now, this Eight of Pentacles is actually showing... A very, very hard work period. Now, this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. Yeah, so you're going to have to strive for balance coming up for the new year. Because no one can or should work all the time. But the Eight of Pentacles, the card above the word challenge, it's indicating a very hard work period. Yeah, you got to be making a lot of money. Because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. Now, ten of pinnacles is the tops when it comes to um, things being good overall, especially money. But you got eight of pinnacles, so you're just short of two pinnacles from having a whole lot of money. Eight of Pentacles is a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles is a whole lot of money. So your money's going to be looking really good coming up for the new year. But it's showing you're going to have to work for it. It's not going to fall out of the sky. <laughs> Some people get lucky like that, but... No, it's showing you're going to have to really put a lot of work in. <laughs> but that's not bad. I mean... At least you know the money is, is going to be coming in really good. And what that is going to do for you is going to it's going to create um, some type of um, great new beginning with the Ace of Wands here. 
the current Below the Word Challenge. Yeah. And you'll be having a lot of passion about this new beginning. The um, passion could be the work that you're doing. Um, because the Eight of Wands can be about having a lot of passion. The Ace of Wands can be about having a lot of passion for this new beginning. Or this Eight of Pentacles can mean that you're very passionate about your work and you're motivated and you're inspired. So for a lot of you, even though you'll be busy making money, it's showing that you'll be doing something that you enjoy. Yeah, it's going to give you inspiration. And for some of you, you're going to be mastering a craft and enjoying your employment and making a lot of money while you're doing so. And it's going to create some type of wonderful new beginning with the Ace of Wands. So yeah, 2021 is looking pretty good for money and new beginnings. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's see how the outcome is going to be for the new year. Well, we got the Ace of Swords. And it's with the Three of Swords. Yeah, so this Ace of Swords, it can indicate new beginnings. So you got another new beginning card here. Now, when you get the Ace of Swords... It could be new beginnings on several levels or several fronts. Just know that sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship, maybe a job or a situation. But just know that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually really good beneficial energy. That's getting you to where you want to go, where you need to be. Yeah, so, it's with this Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords can be an element of sorrow. Maybe some sadness, heartbreak. That's what the Three of Swords can mean. Um, but, yours is with the Ace of Swords. So, this is the message that I'm getting coming up for you for the new year, for the outcome, for the overall outcome of the new year. It's showing that once you cut out things that are no longer serving you, because some people keep things in their life that's just there, or people can have people that are no longer serving them and they're just kind of like energy vampires or people that suck the life out of, of you or people that train you emotionally certain things that you know that you really need to cut out and they're not good for you it's saying that once you do that it's going to bring about even more new beginnings for the new year and it's saying that um with this three of swords here it's saying that um you should not be afraid of things that might hurt you. Yeah, because some people will keep situations or people in their life out of fear of um, the other person shutting them out. Because the third source can be about someone shutting you out. Or it could be fear of rejection yeah so you could be afraid of hurting someone and you're just keeping them there but they're actually bad for you because you don't want to hurt them that's why the three of swords is there three of swords is not there because of you getting hurt it's there because it's time to cut things out that are no good for you even if you feel like you're going to hurt someone. Yeah, that's the overall outcome for the new year. That's something that you just have to remember. Because certain things can bring you down. And it can make you feel... Well, it could actually 
um, cause you to miss out on great opportunities because you got two new beginning cards here so there's going to be a lot of great new beginnings and new things that are trying to happen for you but like I said the overall outcome is showing that yeah you might have to you you may have to hurt some people Because it's saying that you, you're going to have to separate from some some things or some people or maybe even a situation, even though it's going to be hurtful. And I'm getting it's not hurtful for you, but to the other person. For some of it, it will it for some of you it will be you hurtful to you. Maybe you got to move from a neighborhood that you've been living in all your life, and you just don't want to do it. Because there's too much sadness involved. But it's saying that you're going to have to take the chance and just go for it and do it and go for the change. And it's going to bring about many great new beginnings. But there's things you have to cut out and take a chance on. Yeah, so. Yeah. So now, as far as relationships and love goes, I pulled two oracle cards. There's one on the right and one on the left. Now, if you're looking for new love, the card that came out was Calling in Your Soulmate. It's the card to the very far left side, the pink card. It says, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. And then the other one that's on the very far right side says partnership. So yeah, this new year coming up, it's, it's showing that your soulmate, you could meet your soulmate in, in 2021, and it's saying that prayers, affirmations, and visualizations is going to help you call in your soulmate. So, yeah, if any of you are good at doing that, some people pray a lot, meditate, visualizations, and saying all those things will help to bring in your soulmate for the new year. And it's going to feel good, like you have a part of, you finally have a, a great partnership. Yeah, the other card that came out was partnership. And that's beautiful. But it's saying that you got to, you have to work on pulling in the soulmate. Yeah, so, and then the outcome is a wonderful partnership. Yeah, so, that is... The reading that I have for 2021, it's a yearly reading, and it was just something a little different I, I wanted to do. I'll probably try to do it for each sign if I can get caught up, but it doesn't look bad at all. I like the fact that you've got, you got two new beginning cards here, but it's saying that you're going to have to work hard, but your money is going to be really, really good. It's going to pay off all that hard work. It's going to pay off, and it's going to get, make you have a very fat bank account. And you're going to have some, uh, a couple of options, maybe two people or maybe two situations. And one of the situations, a person is going to really spark your attention going to really get you excited coming up in the new year. And yeah, you're still going to have this person that you know from this year, 2020, still trying to hold on to you. And it's saying you might have to be forceful with them and cut them out because you, you're ready to, yeah, you're ready to be done with this person. But they've got passion for you, passion for you, passion for you. 